Hey folks, Paul, Birth 4 Before Adventures, and here we are on yet another adventure. Uh, today we find ourselves just south of Perth uh, in the dwelling up area, and uh, in particular the start of the Captain Fawcett track. Uh, you do remember I did this earlier this year, and I was by myself. Well, I was almost by myself. I had my trusty little sidekick here with me, and she's with me again today. But, um, I couldn't really explore any of the side tracks when I was by myself because uh, obviously I was by myself. But today I've got four other vehicles with me and we're actually going to camp the night. So looking forward to a uh, few drinks around the campsite tonight and I think Gary's cooking a roast so uh, it should be good. Alright, we just got to find somewhere to air down and uh, then I will show you the vehicles that we have with us. Alright, cheers guys. Alright, well, here we are in a little pocket on the side of the track where we've just aired down um, so here's the cars we got along with us today here's Graham in his Ford Maverick Graham's one of our subscribers along with us today and then we've got Ben in his Land Cruiser Gar Gary's dirty Jeep yeah you should have washed it yeah wash it Gary <laughs> Dylan in a GQ Uh, my Jeep, as usual, and Sophie is getting all excited, aren't you Sophie? Aren't you Sophie? Yes. All right. All right guys, time to hit the track. All right, cheers. So far, as you can see, Sophie's just relaxing with her head on the gear stick. She actually has managed to knock it out of four-wheel drive once so far. <laughs> Luckily, I didn't get in too much trouble. But yeah, reasonably easy track so far. There's a few 
mud holes along the way, rutted sections. Uh, there was a nice deep hole back there on the right that you had to avoid. But uh, apart from that, it's pretty cruisy. So uh, we'll keep popping along and uh, we will see you at the next challenge. Hoping there is another challenge. <laughs> of course there is. All right, cheers guys. for me to get out the way. <laughs> <laughs> it's very difficult to grab a gear and the dog is doing that. Hey Sophie, can you change gears for me? Geez, I don't know, the things I have to put up with. Oh, never mind. Now this is a fascinating creature known as the GQ and here it is in its natural environment. What's it doing you might ask? Well some say these creatures get very hot so they seek out these bog holes in an effort to cool themselves down majestically lowering themselves down into the soothing water and then gently rocking themselves backwards and forwards getting the water into all the little nooks and crannies to help cool themselves down. Let's just take a moment to watch it as it quietly goes about its business. And then, as quickly as it arrived, it retreats back from whence it came. <laughs> What'd you stop there for? <laughs> ah, traffic jam. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, well, that was fun. <laughs> Back at the state of Dylan's patrol. Do some challenge on the track, guys. The three, of, the three of them are going to give it a go.
was an interesting little trek in. <laughs> Very interesting. What a gorgeous spot. Look at this. Well, this could be our lunch spot. I reckon. Looks good enough. out on the track now interesting track leaving that site that uh, campsite too it's awesome um, so yeah we're just back on the track now and we're going to keep traveling along the river until we find a decent campsite and uh, then we'll pull in and set up camp so Sophie's made herself at home on the I don't know if you can see the amount of dog hair that is on that seat but uh, the disadvantages of owning a border collie <laughs> oh dear. all right we'll uh, See you either at the next challenge or at camp. All right, cheers guys.
because uh, Dylan thinks he might have done a bead. So I'll walk up and have a look. Hey Sophie keeps changing my car out of snow mode and low mode and every other <laughs> freaking like, mode. Yeah, this, you and then she puts the window down and tries to get out. <laughs> oh, oh my god. It doesn't look like it's losing air quick, yeah. so I'd say that'll get to where yeah. the first spot easy as. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's the first spot. Yeah, that's the first spot. Alright, it looks like we might be alright with that. We'll have to keep an eye on it and uh, fix it up later. Alright. <laughs> Like he has actually got a rock in his bead, but um, we might be able to make it to camp before he has to deal with it. So uh, we're just going to push on, and then if it gets any worse, we'll have to uh, stop and fix it up. All right, cheers, guys. Here on this track, that uh, Dylan's going to have a crack. That's what it looks like. Gary's poking it with a stick and decided it's uh, okay. And that's the same way I'm gonna go. <laughs> you won't catch me in that hole. All right. camp all finally set up in this nice little spot it's mine Gary's in the corner with the Taj Mahal behind the Jeep the boys are over here fire's going <laughs> let's go see what's down here now don't let Sophie off because she will jump straight in there without a doubt and she's got to sleep in the swag with me tonight so she's not going in there, no way. Then she gets the solar blanket out right at the sun, get some power into the battery and here we go so yeah what a great spot. All right Sophie around here I think it's time to get one of these out of the fridge. One of those. Cheers. Oh, that's good. Sophie, don't get too close. You taste the marshmallows. She'll work it out. <laughs> I was going to say it's a bit early. I burnt the inside. How do you burn the inside? Oh, you um, you burn the outside and then you eat it and then you um, and then you burn the inside. Oh, okay. All right. The inside becomes the outside. <laughs> I'm with it now. <laughs> the last half an hour. He's been to the firewood shop. 
You've been to the firewood shop, mate? Yeah, mate. <laughs> just sitting there. Nice just sitting there on the side of the road? That's it. Oh, well. Oh, we got enough wood to burn all night and tomorrow night. But unfortunately, we won't be here tomorrow night because uh, Gary and I have to shoot off early in the morning. So this trip will probably cut short because we have to leave at the crack of dawn. But uh, anyway, we have plenty of wood. <laughs> this for many videos to come, but that thing is brilliant. Look at that. Nice hot quiches at camp. Awesome. These are going to go down well. Let's see if the boys like these. we might waiting for you to get back so we can break these out, mate. Winner, winner. Chicken dinner. Cheese. You can have more than one. Sick. There you go. Which one's the cheese one? one. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> don't, don't get picky, kid. <laughs> Cash. Cash. No, all right. More for us. There you go. Yep, definitely. Thank you. Thank you. This is good. Cash. Um, thank you very much. Yes, sir. Gary's got a handful. No, so, no, Sophie, get out of the way. There's none for you. Well, there might be one. Thank you. Get out of the way, dog. Sophie. <laughs> it might be a bit warm for you. All right. No, that's all right. Thanks, Paul. Well, Pip, go. So gentle. Oh, cook them hot. I cook them hot. We cook them hot. Yeah, but I was, was going to do that, but it's, it's kept going on. According to plans, it was going to be eat about 6.30. What's the time, 9 o'clock? I just have no idea. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. Hey, throw it for plate. I need that tongs. Oh, oh, really? Really? <laughs> you just took the tongs? <laughs> I bet you in the comments below you get the fans all jealous and say, I'm jealous. How do I break that? You smell it with your fingers. I will because I just said it. <laughs> oh, you got the crispy bit. You want some? Yes, please. Have you yeah. said some? Yeah. Thank you. Eat it. All right, everybody seems pretty happy with dinner, so let's go and eat. All right, cheers. Our plan worked the treat book. It did, didn't it? <laughs> Shut us up one way. No, no, no. You, you make average cooks look good by making yeah. people wait for ages of starving. <laughs> and an average food tastes excellent. That's it. All right, folks, well, you know dinner was a success when there is absolutely nothing left but a few vegetables. 
and a couple of spuds. So it was all right. Awesome. Worth the wait. All right. That's pretty much it for us tonight. We'll uh, see you in the morning. Cheers. You right there? <laughs> oh, this is going to be fun. Sharing a swag with a psycho dog, eh? <laughs> Trying to dig away to China in here, folks. Right. You settled down now? Hmm? You settled down now? Hey? What are you doing? What are you doing? Hmm? What are you doing? <laughs> no. Alright, oh, it's time to go to sleep, okay? Alright? Good night. Oh. Smells like dog in here. What do you reckon, Soph? What you doing? Soph, what you doing? Mm. It's Gary. <laughs> Can you let me out first? <laughs> she's, she's, she's barking. <laughs> oi, oi. <laughs> Sophie, shush. <laughs> Seriously, dog. Wake up the neighborhood. Oh. Come here. Come on. Oh, well, that's a wake up. <laughs> oh dear, Jesus. Foggy this morning and a bit cool. All right. Well, everybody's up now, thanks to Sophie. Happy with yourself? Happy with yourself, Sophie? All right. All right, we have a cup of tea. We'll pack up camp. And uh, Gary and I have to head straight off this morning, so we'll be out before the rest get up, I suppose. But, uh, yeah. All right, cheers, guys. Pretty much it for our trip this weekend. A uh, short and sharp trip down the Captain Fawcett track. Um, it's not an overly difficult track. Oh, I'm sorry if you've had enough. Um, but it's all right. Um, there's a few little challenges along the way, and if you want to tackle some of the side tracks, it's uh, even more challenging. But uh, all in all, a reasonably easy drive. See a lot of questions on various Facebook pages as to what the Captain Fawcett track is like, and it's reasonably easy for most vehicles. Um, so don't be afraid to attempt it and there's some great little campsites along the way so uh, yeah i uh, just like to thank Dylan and his son Ollie um, and the other guys that came along with us today Graham uh, it's been a it's been a fun little night's camping and um, yeah we all had a good time so uh, once again just uh, thanks to those people that subscribe and watch the videos if you haven't subscribed already please do so and uh, we will catch you on the next adventure. All right, take it easy, guys. Cheers.